Thanks so much, Shet, for coming in with Thank you, you for and, me. and the bun. So this is the hair that caused so much offence to TBA. What did they say? Well, in a nutshell, they pretty much uh, dismissed me uh, on the claims that my hair is like a girl's hair, uh, if I was to quote it like that. Um, they, uh, in fact, said that my uh, hair doesn't conform with uh, uniform standards, uh, despite the fact that there are thousands of uh, female BA staff members who have the exact same hairstyle as myself. Uh, they gave me three options, which was to either uh, cut my hair, to either put it in a turban mm -hmm. or get dreadlocks. Uh, the latter two, I'm not a Sikh, no. nor am I a Rastafarian. Yes, well, it's good that you cleared that up for yeah. them. But to be honest, looking at you now, Sid, I guess their argument could be that it wasn't um, tidy enough or it wasn't professional enough to be on the airline. But looking at you now, it seems completely professional. Have you had that kind of reaction when you've applied for jobs before? Well, this was a process that started all the way back from March, April time, and I wasn't actually informed regarding my hair. All I was uh, told about was tattoos and piercings right. and obviously during that time there's no way I could have grown my hair during that during uh, the space of yeah. three months because it is a uh, so they had much... seen your hair before and said nothing exactly okay I mean and what happened after what did you say to them when they said that it was a girl's hairstyle which I'm not sure they're allowed to say anymore well of course I felt you know I felt bullied I felt like an outcast and I did feel uh, violated as well I just wanted to uh, get on with my role that I was uh, very much enjoying at BA uh, however I do feel feel like I was discriminated just for the sake that my hair uh, is like a female hair, but where I'm a male, I'm not allowed to have my hair like this. And the reality is, you know, the world has changed a lot, exactly. I think, in the past few years. Do yeah. you think that, that perhaps BA is quite slow on the uptake with that? I know there have been several schools in London that have come under fire regarding the rules they have where boys' hairstyles are concerned, especially things like, like cane rows on, on, on black boys as well. Um, do you think that perhaps people just need to catch up with the times? Well, as I've already mentioned, the three uh, options that were given to me just demonstrates that BA are very much stuck in the 1970s and haven't really moved forward with the times. It's like telling uh, yourself, oh, uh, say you had short hair, for example, uh, why do you have uh, short hair? Uh, that's boys' hair. Or it's exactly like telling uh, a female that's wearing trousers, uh, why are you wearing yeah. uh, trousers? You should yeah. be wearing a skirt. Yeah. So I completely felt discriminated by it and... Uh, um, and I feel like their reasoning into dismissing me is quite frankly obscene as well as draconian. Very quickly, are you now in another job, they said? Um, so at and the do moment, they like your hair? Listen, everyone loves my hair, well, I'd like <laughs> to think anyway. Um, but um, I'm exploring a few uh, okay. avenues, yeah. All right, well, good luck with, with the search. And, and just you. so everyone knows, we did actually um, speak with BA and they say they do not comment on individual cases.